French Poetry, Wikipedia Audio French and Francophone Literature French Literature, by Category, French Language Medieval, 16th century A Eurocent 17th century, 18th century A Eurocent 19th century, 20th century A Eurocent Contemporary French Prosody and Poetics Francophone Literature, Literature of Quebec, Postcolonial Literature, Literature of Haiti Chronological List The ten-syllable line is often broken into syntactical groups as 5 to 5, 4 to 6, or 6 4. The Alexandrine is broken into two six syllable groups, each six syllable group is called a ha copyright mystique. Writers a Eurocent novelists, playwrights a Eurocent poets, essayists, short story writers. Novel a Eurocent poetry a Eurocent plays. Science fiction a Eurocent comics, fantastic key. Naturalism a Eurocent symbolism, surrealism a Eurocent existentialism, nouveau roman, theater of the absurd. Literary theory a Eurocent critics, literary prizes. The encounter of two unillated and awkward vowel sounds such as ilaaa euro was to be avoided, the alternance of masculine and feminine rhymes was mandated. Rhymes based on words that rhymed, but that a euro in their spelling sa euro had dissimilar endings were prohibited, a word could not be made to rhyme with itself, in general, and jamant was to be avoided. Moliere a Eurocent Racine a Eurocent Balzac, Stendhal a Eurocent Flaubert, Zola a Eurocent Proust, Beckett a Eurocent Camus. France a Eurocent French language, literature a Eurocent francophone literature. Ballade, Rondo, Disha Copyright, Dits Moros, Blazon, Lie, Virale, Posturally, Complaint, Chanson, Chanson de Toile, Chanson de Croisade, Chanson Courtoise, Rotruenge. History of French Poetry French poetry is a category of French literature. It may include francophone poetry composed outside France and poetry written in other languages of France. The modern French language does not have a significant stress accent or long and short syllables. This means that the French metric line is generally not determined by the number of beats, but by the number of syllables. The most common metric lengths are the 10-syllable line, the 8-syllable line and the 12-syllable line. In traditional French poetry, all permissible liaisons are made between words. Furthermore, unlike modern spoken French, a silent or mute e counts as a syllable before a consonant and is pronounced, but is elided before a vowel. When it falls at the end of a line, the mute E is hypermetrical. The ten-syllable and twelve-syllable lines are generally marked by a regular syntactical pause, called a CA copyright sure. In traditional poetry, the CA copyright sure cannot occur between two words that are syntactically linked, nor can it occur after an unillated mute E. For example, J E face seven C E R A V E A copyright train G E T pa copyright N A copyright trant medieval Renaissance D N F A M I N C O N U E T K J A M A E T K M A M A Villanelle Virale Nouveau Sonnet Bref Double Ode Classical French Poetry 19th century 20th century Important French and Francophone poets Middle Ages 
The verses are Alexandrines. The mute E in Dion is pronounced and is counted in the syllables, the mute E at the end of Ki Mma is hypermetrical. No word occurs across the sixth to seventh syllable in both lines, thus creating the Sashura. Are not Daniel, Bernard de Ventadorn, Bertrand de Born, Falke de Marcel Ha, Gautier de Espinel, Gouy de Ussel, William Nine of Aquitaine, Guillaume de Cabestani, Girard de Bornel, Girard Riquier, Joffre Copyright Rudel, Macabru, Pyre Vital, Rainbot de Vaquiras, Rainbot of Orange, Chra Copyright Tien de Trois, Adonit Leroi, Blondel de Nestle, Chaste Lane de Cauci, Colin Musette, Conan de B.A. Copyright Thune, Gase Brula Copyright, Gautier de Coenzi, Guyot de Dijon, Thibaut Four of Champagne, Adam de La Halle, A de Froyle Bastard, Monio de Aris, Rudebuf, Guillaume de Macot, Eustache de Shaw, Christine de Pison, Charles, Duc de Orla Copyright ANS, Frana OIS Vion. The rules of classical French poetry also put forward the following. For more on rhymes in French poetry, see Rhyme in French. 16th century Poetic forms developed by medieval French poets include Other poetic forms found in French poetry As is the case in other literary traditions, Poetry is the earliest French literature, the development of prose as a literary form was a late phenomenon. In the medieval period, the choice of verse form was generally dictated by the genre, the old French epics were usually written in ten-syllable assonanced lesses, while the chivalric romances were usually written in octosyllabic rhymed couplets. Medieval French lyric poetry was indebted to the poetic and cultural traditions in southern France and Provence a Euro including Toulouse, Poitiers and the Aquitaine region a Euro where a long doc was spoken, in their turn, the Provenal poets were greatly influenced by poetic traditions from the Hispano-Arab world. The Occitan or Provenal poets were called troubadours, from the word trabar. Lyric poets in Old French are called Trouvares, using the Old French version of the word. The Occitan troubadours were amazingly creative in the development of verse forms and poetic genres, but their greatest impact on medieval literature was perhaps in their elaboration of complex code of love and service called fin amours or, more generally, courtly love. For more information on the troubadour tradition, see Provenal literature. By the late 13th century, the poetic tradition in France had begun to develop in ways that differed significantly from the troubadour poets, both in content and in the use of certain fixed forms. The new poetic tendencies are apparent in the Roman de Favel in 1310 and 1314 a satire on abuses in the medieval church filled with medieval motets, lays, rondos and other new secular forms of poetry and music to distinguish the new musical practice from the music of the immediately preceding age. The best-known poet and composer of Ars Nova secular music and chansons was Guillaume de Macot. French poetry continued to evolve in the 15th century. Charles, Duc d'Orla copyright ANS was a noble and head of one of the most powerful families in France during the Hundred Years' War. Captured in the Battle of Agincourt, he was a prisoner of the English from 1415 a Euro 1441 and his ballads often speak of loss and isolation. Christine de Pison was one of the most prolific writers of her age. Her Cita Copyright des Dames is considered a kind of feminist manifesto. 
Frana Ois Vion was a student and vagabond whose two poetic testaments or wills are celebrated for their portrayal of the urban and university environment of Paris and their scabrous wit, satire, and verbal puns. The image of Villon as vagabond poet seems to have gained almost mythic status in the 16th century, and this figure would be championed by poetic rebels of the 19th century and 20th centuries. Poetry in the first years of the 16th century is characterized by the elaborate sonorous and graphic experimentation and skillful word games of a number of northern poets, generally called Les Grands R.H. A. Copyright Tory Kurs who continued to develop poetic techniques from the previous century. Soon however, the impact of Petrarch, Italian poets in the French court, Italian Neoplatonism and Humanism, and the rediscovery of certain Greek poets would profoundly modify the French tradition. In this respect, the French poets CLA copyright Ment Maro and Melon de saint Galais are transitional figures, they are credited with some of the first sonnets in French, but their poems continue to employ many of the traditional forms. 17th Century The new direction of poetry is fully apparent in the work of the humanist Jacques Pelletier du Mans. In 1541, he published the first French translation of Horace S. Ars Poetica and in 1547 he published a collection of poems A Uvra Poa Copyright Teaks, which included translations from the first two cantos of Homer's Odyssey and the first book of Virgil S. Georgics, twelve Petrarchian sonnets, three Horacian odes and a martial-like epigram. This poetry collection also included the first published poems of Joachim du Bellay and Pierre de Ronsard. Around Ronsard, du Bellay, and Jean Antoine de Baaf, there formed a group of radical young noble poets of the court. The character of their literary program was given in du Bellay's manifesto. The defense and illustration of the French language which maintained that French was a worthy language for literary expression and which promulgated a program of linguistic and literary production and purification. For some of the members of the PLA copyright yad, the act of the poetry itself was seen as a form of divine inspiration, a possession by the muses akin to romantic passion, prophetic fervor, or alcoholic delirium. 18th century The forms that dominate the poetic production of the period are the Petrarchian sonnet cycle and the Horace slash Anacreon ode. Ronsard also tried early on to adapt the Pindaric ode into French. Throughout the period, the use of mythology is frequent, but so too is a depiction of the natural world. Other genres include the paradoxical encomium the blazon of the female body, and propagandistic verse. Several poets of the period a Euro Jean Antoine de Baaf, Blaise de Vigenerie and other Sa Euro attempted to adapt into French the Latin, Greek, or Hebrew poetic meters, these experiments were called Ver Messura Copyright S and Prose Messura Copyright. 19th Century 20th century. Although the royal court was the center of much of the century's poetry, Lyon A. Euro, the second largest city in France in the Renaissance A. Euro, also had its poets and humanists, most notably Maurice Scav, Louise Laba Copyright, Pernet du Gillet, Olivier de Magny, and Pontus de Tillard. Scav's de Copyright Lie. Objet de plus halt vertu, composed of 449 ten syllable ten line poems and published with numerous engraved emblems, is exemplary in its use of amorous paradoxes and allegory to describe the suffering of a lover. Poetry at the end of the century was profoundly marked by the civil wars, pessimism, dourness, and a call for retreat from the world predominate. However, 
the horrors of the war were also to inspire one Protestant poet, Agrippa Dioban a copyright, to write a brilliant poem on the conflict, Le Tragi Case. Because of the new conception of El Hanati e Om or the honest or upright man, poetry became one of the principal modes of literary production of noble gentlemen and of non-noble professional writers in their patronage in the 17th century. Poetry was used for all purposes. A great deal of 17th and 18th century poetry was occasional, written to celebrate a particular event or to solemnize a tragic occurrence and this kind of poetry was frequent with gentlemen in the service of a noble or the king. Poetry was the chief form of 17th century theatre, the vast majority of scripted plays were written in verse. Poetry was used in satires and in epics like Jean Chapelle and S. La Pucelle. Although French poetry during the reign of Henri IV and Louis XIII was still largely inspired by the poets of the late Valois court, some of their excesses and poetic liberties found censure, especially in the work of Frana Ois de Malherbe who criticized La Pla Copyright Yad S and Philippe de Portes S irregularities of meter or form. The later 17th century would see Malherbe as the grandfather of poetic classicism. Poetry came to be a part of the social games in noble salons, where epigrams, satirical verse, and poetic descriptions were all common at the Hotel de Rambouillet, a collection of floral poems written by the salon members for the birthday of the host's daughter. The linguistic aspects of the phenomenon associated with the PRA copyright CS is the use of highly metaphorical language, the purification of socially unacceptable vocabulary ya euro was tied to this poetic salon spirit and would have an enormous impact on French poetic and courtly language. Although PRA copyright Sciacita copyright was often mocked for its linguistic and romantic excesses, the French language and social manners of the 17th century were permanently changed by it. From the 1660s, three poets stand out. Jean de La Fontaine gained enormous celebrity through his Aesop-inspired fables which were written in an irregular verse form. Jean Racine was seen as the greatest tragedy writer of his age. Finally, Nicolas Boilotis per copyright auxiliary became the theorizer of poetic classicism, his art poa copyright teak praised reason and logic, believability, moral usefulness, and moral correctness, it elevated tragedy and the poetic epic as the great genres and recommended imitation of the poets of antiquity. Classicism in poetry would dominate until the pre-romantics and the French Revolution. From a technical point of view, the poetic production from the late 17th century on increasingly relied on stanza forms incorporating rhymed couplets, and by the 18th century fixed form poems a euro and, in particular, the sonnet a euro were largely avoided. The resulting versification a euro less constrained by meter and rhyme patterns than Renaissance poetry a euro more closely mirrored prose. French poetry from the first half of the century was dominated by Romanticism, associated with such authors as Victor Hugo, Alphonse de Lamartine, and G. A. Copyright Rard de Nerval. The effect of the Romantic movement would continue to be felt in the latter half of the century in wildly diverse literary developments, such as realism, symbolism, and the so-called fin de siècle decadent movement. Victor Hugo was the outstanding genius of the Romantic school and its recognized leader. He was prolific alike in poetry, drama, and fiction. Other writers associated with the movement were the austere and pessimistic Alfred de Vigny, Tha copyright Ophile Gautier a devotee of beauty and creator of the Art for Art's Sake movement, and Alfred de Musset, who best exemplifies romantic melancholy. By the middle of the century, 
an attempt to be objective was made in poetry by the group of writers known as the Parnassians A Euro which included Le Conte de Lille, Th.A. Copyright Odor de Bonville, Cadel Menda S., Sully Prudhomme, Frana O.I.S. Coppa Copyright E., Josa Copyright Mara Ada Haradia and Paul Verlaine A. Euro who strove for exact and faultless workmanship and selected exotic and classical subjects which they treated with a rigidity of form and an emotional detachment. The naturalist tendency to see life without illusions and to dwell on its more depressing and sordid aspects appears in an intensified degree in the immensely influential poetry of Charles Baudelaire, but with profoundly romantic elements derived from the Byronic myth of the anti-hero and the romantic poet. The poetry of Baudelaire and much of the literature in the latter half of the century were often characterized as decadent for their lurid content or moral vision. In a similar vein, Paul Verlaine used the expression poetie modded in 1884 to refer to a number of poets like Tristan Corbiere, Sta copyright Fan Malarma copyright and Arthur Rambeau who had fought against poetic conventions and suffered social rebuke or had been ignored by the critics. But with the publication of Jean Mora copyright as Symbolist Manifesto in 1886, it was the term symbolism which was most often applied to the new literary environment. The writers Sta Copyright Fan Malarma Copyright, Paul Verlaine, Paul Valla Copyright Re, Joris Carl Hoismans, Arthur Rambo, Jules Slafork, Jean Mora Copyright as, Gustave Kahn, Albert Sumain, Jean Lorraine, R.A. Copyright Maida Gourmois, Pierre Lois, Tristan Corbiere, Henri de R.A. Copyright Nier. Villers de L'Isle Adam, Stuart Merrill, Rena Copyright Gill, St. Paul Roux, Oscar Villadisles de Milaz, the Belgians Albert Giroux, Emile Verheren, Georges Rodenbach, and Maurice Maeterlinck and others have been called symbolists, although each author's personal literary project was unique. From a technical point of view, the Romantics were responsible for a return to many of the fixed-form poems used during the 15th and 16th centuries, as well as for the creation of new forms. The sonnet however was little used until the Parnassians brought it back into favor, and the sonnet would subsequently find its most significant practitioner in Charles Baudelaire. The traditional French sonnet form was however significantly modified by Baudelaire, who used 32 different forms of sonnet with non-traditional rhyme patterns to great effect in his Les Fleurs du Mal. Guillaume Apollinaire radicalized the Baudelarian poetic exploration of modern life in evoking plains, the Eiffel Tower and urban wastelands and he brought poetry into contact with Cubism through his calligrams, a form of visual poetry. Inspired by Rambeau, Paul Claudel used a form of free verse to explore his mystical conversion to Catholicism. Other poets from this period include, Paul Valla Copyright Re, Max Jacob, Pierre-Jean Jauvet, Valérie Larbaud, Victor Sigalen, Law Copyright on Paul Fargu The First World War generated even more radical tendencies. The Dada Movement a Euro which began in a Kaffa copyright in Switzerland in 1916 a Euro came to Paris in 1920, but by 1924 the writers around Paul A. per thousand Lewid, Andra Copyright Breton, Louis Aragon, and Robert Desnos A. Euro heavily influenced by Sigmund Freud's notion of the unconscious A. Euro had modified Dada provocation into surrealism. In writing and in the visual arts, and by using automatic writing, creative games, and altered states, the surrealists tried to reveal the workings of the unconscious mind. The group championed previous writers they saw as radical and promoted an anti-bourgeois philosophy which would later lead most of them to join the Communist Party. 
Other writers associated with surrealism include, Jean Cocteau, Rena Copyright Creval, Jacques Pra Copyright Vert, Jules Superviel, Benjamin Pa Copyright Ret, Philippe Soupault, Pierre Riverty, Antonin Artaud, Henri Michaud, and Rena Copyright Char. The Surrealist movement would continue to be a major force in experimental writing and the international art world until the Second World War. The effects of Surrealism would later also be felt among authors who were not strictly speaking part of the movement, such as the poet Alexis St. Law Copyright Ger Law Copyright Ger, the poet Edmund Jabba S. and George Isbitaly. The Swiss writer Blaise Cendrars was close to Apollinaire, Pierre Riverdy, Max Jacob, and the artists Chagall and Law Copyright Ger, and his work has similarities with both Surrealism and Cubism. Poetry in the post-war period followed a number of interlinked paths, most notably deriving from Surrealism, or from philosophical and phenomenological concerns stemming from Heidegger. Friedrich Halderlin, Existentialism, The Relationship Between Poetry and the Visual Arts, and STA Copyright Fan Malarma Copyright S Notions of the Limits of Language. Another important influence was the German poet Paul Selen. Poets concerned with these philosophical-slash-language concerns a euro especially concentrated around the review Elifa copyright Marie a euro include Yves Bonifoy, Andra copyright Du Bouchet, Jacques Dupin, Roger Giroux, and Philippe Jacotet. Many of these ideas were also key to the works of Maurice Blancot. The unique poetry of Francis Ponge exerted a strong influence on a variety of writers. The later poets Claude Royat Gernud, Anne Marie Albiac, Emmanuel Hockard, and to a degree Jean Dave, describe a shift from Heidegger to Ludwig Wittgenstein and a re evaluation of Mallarmé copyright's notion of fiction and theatricality. These poets were also influenced by certain English language modern poets along with certain American postmodern and avant garde poets loosely grouped around the language poetry movement. Notes